Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. Before we get to today's video, I wanted to go to run through some things with you. If you've been on the Instagram page and the Twitter page, you might have noticed I've been posting about a change is coming. Well, change is coming, and it's not happening in this video, but it will be happening from this video onwards, and that change is that we're changing up everything that we're doing. So, effectively now, there is no more Funko News videos. No more. That's gone. We're not, we've ended that. Any Funko News that you want to see, you can go check out the past videos. That They're going to permanently be up on the channel. But apart from that, we're not doing any more. That's, that's ended. And I want to try to make, and I want to try and do videos for my channel that I am actually feeling like, hey, these are fun videos to make. Not just make videos because, hey, I want to get some great content out there for you guys and I want to fill channel, I want to fill the channel with videos. That's not what I want to do. I want to make fun videos I enjoy. So, with that being said, you're not going to get any Funko News weekly videos. That's ended. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Funko News, head up to Funko.com, go to their blog section. That's where they post up all the latest news. You can also check out another YouTuber who does Funko News sporadically, and he will have you all caught up on all the latest Funko News. So I'll link his channel in the, in the description section below where you can find and follow him to see all the latest Funko news for him. You won't be seeing any um, pop reviews anymore. So you won't see any of that anymore. That's gone. All the pop reviews, Funko collection, all that side of, side of the video is done and dusted. You're, we're not getting any more of that happening on the channel. The only two videos that are going to remain here on the channel is the um, in-store pickups, like the in-store finds, and the unboxing. Those are the only two series that I'm going to be continuing thing. So you're still going to get content, you're still going to get videos, but they're going to be less of them, and they're going to be more focused on the unboxing and the um, in-store pickups. And as a guarantee, tea. I can guarantee you that coming up this March, I believe it is the Wednesday before the 9th of March, um, on that Wednesday I'll be heading off to, to not my local shopping centre, but to a further away shopping centre to go check out a store that I've been wanting to check out for months. And I also want to check out, and I also want to check out um, some other stores in in that area to go pick up some pops. So it's going to be a whole big pop haul video that I'll be putting out for you guys. I won't be filming at that shopping center. So I want to thank everyone who has stuck by the channel. I want to thank all the new subscribers that have jumped aboard. I want to thank any news, anyone that's watching this that is not a subscriber. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you haven't clicked subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And now I'm going to throw over to today's video. Hello and welcome to Fun Go Down Under. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing these two packages. This one from Pop Culture and this one, this big giant package comes all the way from Aussie Collectibles. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. Those of you that have never purchased from Aussie Collectibles before, this is how they package their boxes. 
they will normally package them with, um, if you're buying a pop from them, they will package it in a, um, one of those plastic, yeah, plastic, yeah, plastic, um, cases, the protector cases, and they're also put in a whole heap of this newspaper as well to go with it to protect it, so they put a lot of protection in it, so if you're worried about them getting damaged, I've only ever had one item ever damaged from Aussie Collectibles, one. So I'm going to get all this stuff open and pull out this big package. And coming in first in the big giant box was the one, the only, Dobby from Harry Potter. This is a pot I've been wanting to buy for a long time. The pot here in Australia cost a lot of money, but seeing as though it was Christmas a few months ago, I got a gift card, so I used the gift card and put the rest of it using my money. So this comes, I think, from the UK. I know I bought it from Aussie Collectibles, but it is a UK exclusive because, as you can see, it's got the, if you can see that sticker there, that is the Forbidden Planet exclusive. So excited. It says Forbidden Planet exclusive. Um, it says, now I'm trying to read this on the side. Oh, International. So yeah, that's a UK based company. And this is the, I think, 10 inch version of, of it. And I'm super surprised this came in a pop protector. So yeah, this is pretty awesome here. Not only did I notice Dobby is a Forbidden Planet exclusive, but also um, Basilisk who's a Target exclusive in the US, he is a Forbidden Planet exclusive, and I am loving this. This is so great. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take this out, but I'm loving it. Yeah. That's the first cat off the ranks is Dobby. All right, let's get to the second package. That's a line from Seinfeld, it's Kramer. And coming in next, we have... Um, yeah, we have another Harry Potter pop. This one is from 2016. Now, I pre-ordered this months and months and months ago, back when they first went up on the, on the on the pop culture site because I checked Stashpedia and the cost of them was pretty high so I figured if I, if I don't pre-order them now and they sell out I'm gonna have to spend a big chunk of money to get these so yeah here is Cedric Cedric Diggory I think is how you pronounce him yeah Pop is a bit loose in there, but I'll scan it, see if it's an exclusive, and ch chuck it on there. I have this set. I'm missing Harry, which I'm pretty sure I've pre-ordered. I'm pretty sure I've ordered him, and I'm waiting on him to come in still. There is um, Hermione Granger. This is when she goes to the ball. Um, Ron Weasley, when he goes to the ball. Um, Draco Malfoy. Luna Lovegood. Albus Dumbledore in his purple robe with his greyish hat on. Sirius Black. Um, Dobby, which is the same as the Forbidden Planet Dobby. This is just the pop size of him. Dementor and Neville Longbottom are the ones that I'm still looking at getting for my set. So. Yeah, these are the two I picked up today from Forbidden Planet. Very surprised they shocked in a um, 
thingamajiggy, a protector case, but I'm loving it. If you're having any hesitance about ordering from Aussie Collectibles, do it. They're a great company. They protect their pulps. Both of the, sorry, this one came in undamaged as well, so it's all great. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And as always, have a pop-tastic day. I'll see you next time. Thank you so very much for watching.